simple steps on how you can sew this beautiful short bubble style don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to get notified when i post a new video thank you so straight to the tutorial of today so i folded the fabric into four equal parts like i folded the fabric into four like you see me do so i was making sure making sure that the four end of the i was making sure the fabric is equal at the at the both end so the first thing I did was to measure the gown length. So after taking the gown measurement, I on the fabric, I added two inches sewing allowance to the length of the fabric. That two inches will be what I will fold the the dress inward by four by two inches. If you understand, like I will aim it at the down hand by two inches or four two inches inside do you understand so guys after getting the gown measurement after taking the gown measurement i'll go by taking the full body measurement so that's my chest line 10 inches from the shoulder line so after then i measured 40 inches which is the under bust okay so I measured 23 the hip line. 23 hip line. Then I take the normal bust measurement at the chest line. 10 inches. I added 3 inches to it as the sewing allowance. Remember it's a bubble gown and it's going to be very very free. So that 3 inches at both ends will make will bring that bubble vibe out do you understand so add three inches to all the measurements all the body measurements so i went ahead now to take my shoulder measurement eight inches The full back measurement is 16. So when I divide 16 by 2, I get um, 8 inches. So at the chest line, my bust line is, my bust measurement is 40. I divide 40 by 4, I got 10 inches. So 10, I added 2 inches to it. At the hip line, the hip, li the hip measurement is 40, 44, is it 44? Yes, 44. So I measured 11, then I added 3 inches to it. So this is the shape. I don't want the, the underboss shape to be too sharp. That's why I'm trying to like reshape it to give me the shape I want. There are bubble. Though there's no, there's no need giving the serious shaping since it's a bubble style. Well, I just want a little um, shape at the bust line. That's why you see, that's why you're seeing that curve, that shape at the under bust. Do you understand? So after getting the measurement already, I'll go ahead and cut. I'll cut it out. So guys, I'm done cutting out the dress. So I'll go ahead and cut the neckline. I will go in by two, uh, one and a half by three inches. One and a half by three inches. I told initially that I was cutting the two together, so now I've removed the back. 
So the remaining one now will now serve as my front piece. Do you understand? So for the front piece, I'll come down by 3 inches. That's 3 by 3 inches. Then for the slit, will I say slit? That V shape at the front. For that uh, V shape, I'll come down by 3 inches as well. Make it 6 inches altogether. Do you understand? So at the end, before the 3 inches, I'll come in by half inch to make that curve. So for the sequence, sequence at the front, I folded, I look for a lining, I'm not going to use again for that moment. I folded the lining into four. If you have a brown paper, if you have a pattern paper, you can go ahead and use it. So I mirrored seven from the midpoint to get a perfect circle for that um, to cut out that sequence. So guys, this is my lining. I want to line the um, dress with this line. So I'm going to cut out the lining for both the back and the front piece. So if you want to, if you'll be using lining, you can cut out the lining. If you're not using lining, you can just use the facing for the neck, neck part alone. Do you understand?
so guys this is the sequence so the boss point was the point i i started at the play the point i placed the sequence design so from the shoulder line i made it down nine and a half nine and a half nine and a half so i'll go ahead now and place the this sequence at the front piece before joining the lining before sewing the lining with it so this is the sequence um material there's a way i do there's a way i fold this sequence material to avoid unnecessary stretching while joining it so the what i do is to cut this emmy gun to i use this emmy gun to emit like i use this emmy gun to fold the edge of the sequence inside do you understand for but for achieve this um folding i cut this emmy gum into two to give me smaller emmy gum so this i'm going to place it around then i'll fold the sequence on it just watch the way i'll do it So I'll place this M gum round, then I fold, then I'll fold the sequence on this to give me a neat edge. You see? After folding like that, I'll place my iron on it. At the time of doing this, at the time of filming this video, there was no electricity supply in my area. So I used gas iron. I used gas iron. So So at this point I'm done folding the edge inwards. Okay, so I will place this design, this circle on the fabric now. Then I will use that same emmy gum to gum this um circle design on the fabric before sewing to avoid unnecessary stretching while sewing it. Do you understand?
So guys, I'm going to need to iron the back end of the front piece. So the sequence is not falling off the fabric fabric again. So you can go ahead to your sewing machine and sew. And don't forget to add art stay to the front. So if you like this video to this point, why not give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So guys, this is the finished look of the dress. I finished so, uh, late in the night and I did a little video. Thank you. Bye for now.